Today on Classic Gun Reviews, we're going to take a look at a true classic, the Colt Detective Special. This one is the third issue, and the third issue was made from 1973 to 1986. And the Detective Special in general started in 1927 and went all the way through to 86. And I guess they found some parts in the 1990s. So from 93 to 95, they had the last run of the Detective Special. Uh, this is probably a comparable gun to the Smith & Wesson Model 36. The difference being this is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier gun, a little bit chunkier, uh, but really solid feeling uh, firearm. And it's going to have less recoil because it is heavier uh, than some of the other uh, five-shot revolvers. This one's a six-shot, hence uh, it needed to be a little bit bigger. Um, the weight comes in at around 25 ounces the way you see it. It's got the Packmeyer compact grips, highly recommended, very ergonomic. Um, really nice and it's not too sticky so you're not going to have um, stickiness on the rubber that will hang up your clothes or anything but uh, it's a nice addition to the gun. If you put wooden grips on it um, it's probably going to lower the weight an ounce, ounce and a half I noticed because this dense rubber is uh, fairly heavy. Right now I have my detective special sitting among some other EDC items. We have a, um, a Luminox uh, watch here along with an Emerson CQC7, another classic, some other items along with the HKS speed loaders. So these speed loaders here um, are for the Detective Special and I have some hollow points in this one here. And over here we have some full metal jackets. So normally if I'm gonna carry this gun, I would have you know, hollow points in the gun and another backup of hollow points. And then we'll have some uh, full metal jacket for a barrier penetration in case um, there's uh, uh, someone behind um, some barriers, for instance, and that might help you out uh, there. So let's move these out of the way. We're going to show the gun that's clear. We always do this, especially with rounds around. You want to, there's a six cylinder holes. Um, the Colt's revolvers have a release on the release that goes to the rear, unlike most other revolvers where you would do a push. On this issue here is when they started putting a shroud around the ejector rod, so that's going to be protected and a heavier barrel. So that's also why it's going to be a little bit of a heavier gun compared to the earlier ones. While we're here, we can see that uh, the Colt, Ramp and Colt right there logo, which is really nice. And on the barrel over here, we have Detective Spec for Special, 38 Special Caliber. And this side, we have Colt's Manufacturing Company, Hartford, Connecticut, USA. So I'm just going to go over the features and the, um, the specs as we go along. As I mentioned, it's around 25 ounces and 28 ounces loaded depending on the, the grains, but it's going to be right around there. So a little bit heavy for a carry revolver, but that's going to help to mitigate um, some of the recoil on the, the stouter rounds. Across the top we have a, um, a notched rear sight right into the frame, and then we have a rammed front sight. You can take um, fluorescent paint or orange, uh, what I use, and then put a clear coat on it. Sometimes if you want to get a really nice, uh, easier to pick up sight picture. But it's pretty good right there. You've got a nice wide uh, square notch in the rear. The hammer is, has horizontal serrations, really nice for cocking the hammer, but not too sharp to catch on your clothes. The trigger is a nice smooth combat trigger, so it's not going to have su uh, sharp grooves or serrations in it to cut up your finger when you're doing some double, a lot of double action uh, practice or work with that. As I mentioned, it holds uh, six rounds of 38 Special. I think this is when they started becoming um, rated for plus P. Um, I guess after 3,000 rounds, you want to send it in and have it inspected at the, at the Colt factory. Um, also, in this iteration, I guess in 1968, they started uh, making the grip frame a lot smaller than the earlier ones. So you could actually put even uh, really compact wooden grips on there to, to make the whole package a little bit uh, smaller. Let's see what else I can say about this here. Um, so let's go over the pros and the, oh the, yeah the double action single action trigger pull. The double action is going to be a little bit heavy at 14 pounds, but nice and smooth. The single action is around uh, three to five is the specs. I think this one right here is around um, uh, for single action around uh, four four and a half pounds. So really nice. To go over the pros and the cons of the gun, it is uh, the pros. The weight a little bit heavier weight helps to absorb the recoil, especially on the stouter rounds or a plus P. It holds six rounds. It's got ergonomic grips. Even some of the wooden grips, wooden grips are really ergonomic as well. It's got a really nice sight picture, and uh, it's a Colt. You know, what else can you say? On the cons, it's a little bit heavier for carry, um, and the heavy double action trigger pulls all. Oh, I can come up for the cons. So, really nice shooting gun. Highly recommend it, and thanks for watching.